Okay, we are uh, in this section of our notes, and we're going to be talking about Theorem 9.5. And it doesn't say anything about Theorem 9.5 here, but that's really what this is. Uh, theorem 9.5 says this. It says uh, if we're going to reflect across a line and then take that prime image and reflect it again over another line that's parallel to the first line, something happens. Uh, here's an example of that diagram. PQ was reflected over uh, this first vertical line, and then it was reflected again to get this new double prime image. But if you notice this line and this line are parallel, um, because of that, the original image is now uh, the same as the double prime image, and it's as if we had just translated it over. And that's always going to be true. The other thing that's that's also going to be true, when you reflect over a line and then you reflect over another line that's parallel, is that the, di the total distance from any point, uh, so for example in this diagram point P to point uh, double P, or excuse me, P double prime, that distance is going to be twice as much as the distance in between the two uh, parallel lines that you had reflected over. So if this distance here from, from uh, this line K to this line M was, let's say, two inches, then we can know for sure that P to P double prime is going to be a total of four inches. That is theorem 9.5. So let's put theorem 9.5 into practice. Uh, first of all, here's one more example. Uh, if I take this original uh, triangle and reflect it over that green line, you get something look, that looks like that. And then if I take that new prime image and reflect it over this orange line, you get something like that. And you'll notice, uh, no matter how, what that triangle originally looks like, when I reflect it and reflect it again, this first triangle looks exactly the same as the second one, and it's as if I, I did a translation. And as long as these two lines are parallel, and even if I, if, even if I make them diagonal lines, as long as they're parallel, that still is going to be true. Uh, where this first one looks like it's just a translation of the, uh, into the second one. So now going back to your notes, uh, here we've got a diagram which is essentially the same as those two examples that I just gave you. We're reflecting over this line K and then again over this line M and those two lines are parallel. So what we're going to see is that this initial line segment that we reflect and then reflect again is going to uh, look the same as the original, and it's as if we just shifted the entire thing through a translation. Okay, up at the top, you can read the directions. It says, in this diagram, uh, a, reflected, a reflection in line K maps GH, the original uh, line segment, to G prime H prime. And then a reflection across line M maps g prime h prime onto g double prime h double prime. Okay, but then they give us some more information. It tells us that h b is 9. So if I were you, I would actually mark this in the diagram. So from here to here, this distance is 9. And d to h prime, or excuse me, d to h double prime, this distance in here, is going to be 4, so I'm going to mark that as well. Okay, so because this is an example of theorem 9.5, where we reflected and then reflected over another line that's parallel, now we, we said we can also know something about the distances, and so that's what we're going to try to do here. Uh, this says name any segments congruent to each segment uh, HG, HB, and GA. Okay, so some things that I, that I, that I know are true about this. Would be, would be this. Uh, HG is going to be congruent to H prime G prime. So HG is going to be congruent to H prime G prime. HG is also going to be congruent to H uh, double prime G double prime. Okay, so those two things are, are going to be the same because we just reflected that original uh, line segment. The other thing that we know here is that HB uh, is going to be congruent to H prime B. And that's shown over here. This distance from H to B is 9. And so we can also say that H prime to B is 9 because that's purely a reflection. And then the last thing, uh, G A and G prime A are going to be the same. G to A, G prime to A because that's a reflection. There we don't know what that... Um, 
what that total distance is just yet. The second question that we have here is, does AC equal BD? Okay, so we're looking for distances here. Uh, AC is right in here from one line to the next. Does that equal BD from this line to the next? Well, the answer has to be a big yes. And if you think about why, uh, with all the other stuff going on, you might have kind of lost your train of thought, but all that is is a rectangle in there. You've got two parallel sides, the lines, and you've got 90 degree angles here, which means these are 90 degree angles. So this whole shape in here is a rectangle. Does AC have to equal BD? Absolutely. Okay, so those, those original rules about shapes um, still apply here, and we can, we can use those to determine uh, sometimes side lengths and other things like that. So what is um, the length of G, uh, G double prime? Okay, so if I'm measuring from here all the way here. What's that total length? Well, here's what I know so far. I know that G, G double prime is going to be the same as H to H double prime. And once we recognize that, well, now it's just a matter of, of adding up what H to H double prime is. I've got 9 here, and we said this segment is the congruent to this, which means that's got to be 9. And from H prime to D has to be the same distance uh, as H prime to D, which was 4. So this has got to be 4. So the top segment from H to H double prime is 9 plus 9 plus 4 plus 4, uh, which is a total of 26. And so that's got to be the same as from G to G double prime. And there we've got 26. Okay, so we're, we're putting into practice some of the things from Theorem 9.5 there, and you, again, have the opportunity to try some of this on your own. What I would really suggest as you do this on your own, and then you can you can uh, unpause the video and see if, it, if you've got the same thing, I would really suggest marking up these diagrams. Uh, and when you come across problems like this, to make sure you're drawing them out and drawing what you need to know. So go ahead and uh, pause the video now and try to solve the different questions uh, using Theorem 9.5. Once you've had the opportunity to look at that and try to solve those problems, it should look something uh, kind of like this. Uh, the first question had asked us uh, which two triangles is the translation mapping A, B, and C onto or excuse me, which triangle, and that would be A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. So we're going from here all the way to this green triangle over here. The trickier question is going to be uh, the distance. If we know that K to M is 2.6, and I marked that up there, I hope you did too, what's the length of C, C double prime? Well, remember, if you go back to 9.5, uh, that theorem, it says that if we've got a reflection across a line and then reflected again across a line parallel to the first line, the distance from any point on the first uh, uh, image to that, that uh, corresponding point on the double prime image is always going to be twice as much as the distance between these two lines. Since the distance between the two lines is 2.6, all we're doing is doubling that uh, to find that the total distance from C to C prime is 5.2 inches. We could also say that B to B double prime is 5.2 inches. We could say that A to A double prime um, is 5.2 inches. Any point from this original figure reflected then reflected again to a point on this double prime figure is going to be 5.2 inches.